Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21 got a great video for y'all right here, man. It's the best center build. I know you just bought your Xbox. I know you just got your PS5. I know that you if, look, if you hadn't got those, go hit up Dub CP. Go check out his channel. He's gonna help you get it. it this probably be irrelevant by the time I get here because he's got he's telling you when all the pre-orders go live, and right now it is 11-11. It's, uh, that's the day. It's uh, November the 11th and, you know, whatever. But anyway, I know y'all ain't got money to waste, so I'm going to give y'all the best center bill. I sat here for hours and made played with the numbers and made this thing be the best center bill that I could possibly get for y'all. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video, man, because I'm telling you, if you make this bill, you will not be disappointed. You can literally do everything. And the one or two things you can't do, you can use your head to avoid those situations. So like I said, man, like the video if you like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We're bringing the 2K heat every day of the week and not further ado, let's get right into the video. Nito! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. OG I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, so like I said, bro, look, a lot of people making power forwards. I've looked at this and it just feels like my stats are so much better as a center. Like that's that's just it. That's just how I've done it. That's how I rolled. That's how I wanted to do it. It just is what it is. Uh, this is the height I went. I went six nine. Uh, I feel like you're losing a little bit too much if you go six ten. Uh, let's see, two hundred and sixty pounds. Did that for a reason. The seven one wingspan. Did it for a reason. I always go to fine. And I did that for a reason too, man. Cause you know what I'm talking about. We we. We gym stars out here, man. Hey, let me know if you went to find. Also, let me know down in the comment section if you got your PlayStation or if you got a PS4. Uh, and this is some BS that Target actually kind of delayed them because you, you're you getting it, but you're getting it like next week. I would've got, I'm, I'm got, got an Xbox pre-order, but I'm not gonna get it till Monday, bro. Like, be real, like, ain't nobody doing that. But uh, anyway, so check it out. Boom, we went to find. The reason that I went with this is because I just felt like the stats really don't matter a whole lot. Like, if I go down, a little bit i'm losing you know i start losing stuff that i don't want to i could i could go down a little bit but i just i, I want i wanted to, I, I just went 260. The reason i went 260 i wanted to go as heavy as i possibly could and still have 72 speed i want 72 speed so that i can have 75 speed most of the time i think 75 speed is gonna be enough uh if you go down too much for you to have like 80 speed bro you got to be like 220, 215. Like, that ain't even worth it. Look at your interior defense. You go minimum weight, you bro, you, you 85 interior defense. And, and when people are scoring on you, you're going to be pissed off, stuff like that. We put an emphasis on playing defense, and uh, I feel like I want to be – I'm a walking bucket, but I want to be able to stop you too. And this is the anti uh, – this is just the anti – uh, I, I, sometimes I call it the anti-Duke Dennis bill. You ain't gonna stop him, but you can stop people that's trying to emulate him that's got his bill that don't know how to play the game the way that he is. Like like I said, hey, like he always say, just because you make the bill don't mean you're gonna be able to play like me, my boy. Like, that's just, that's, just, that's just facts. Like, a lot of people had it last year, though, and I had a stretch, and I just couldn't even hang with people that had. If you had a stretch or if you had anybody with any type of speed, I could not hang with you. I just had to defer to my guys and hope that I could do it. But this bill, bro, you're really going to be able to, you're really going to be able to defend all five positions with no problem at all. I promise you. And like a lot of people going like, you know, hey, look, you can do whatever you want to with the arms and all this stuff. If you don't like it, like it's fine. I just feel like this is the best center bill because you can literally do everything. And the only thing we did was augment augment some stats just a little bit you understand what i'm saying so and i'm gonna go through show y'all all everything that we're gonna do and then we're going to um we're gonna we're going to and then once we do that we're gonna we're gonna i'm gonna give you the reason for everything so now you see what we got right here bro this is what we have we are we are no no finishing badges but you got an 86 driving dunks so that means you can get the elite contact dunks the elite alley oops the elite contact alleys and the uh and the pro so you can get pro contact pro alleys uh pro contact alleys and you can get elite dunks elite contact and elite contact alleys you can get all of that so you're not gonna be a liability going to the rim 
You don't have any shot close or standing dunk. But with this build, you're not designed to ever be inside. If you're going up and you don't just roll to the hole and just bang it because that counts as a driving dunk, you need to kick the ball out and reset yourself or reset your guard or do something because you this ain't your game. Scoring inside is not your game. If you have to score inside and you're shooting a layup, something is going horribly wrong. Otherwise, I mean, uh, uh, conversely, most of the time, you know, your center, your, your guard probably just gonna call a back door or something like that. He gonna call that back door and boom, you're gonna be good, man. So, you know, it just is what it is. So that's that's why we doing what we doing with that. Um, That's why I said you gotta play a little bit headed because you may not be able to score inside. You might be able to go up inside, but you probably gonna blow it if anybody's there. But if somebody's there, let's think about it. If I'm on the perimeter, I catch the ball, I can't shoot, and I'm going to the rim, I'm banging it with an 86. The guard comes over, he getting banged on. Like last year, we had to be judicious when we went down there. If the guard comes over, he getting contact dunked. Like he's literally getting put inside of the rim. Like, like I, I don't, I don't even understand. Like, like it's, it's probably gonna look. Hold on, what am I, what am I doing? Uh, I, I had, I, I did a picture last night, uh, and I was like, like this is what is, this is what it's gonna look like if the guard comes over. If I can find. it. Bro, if the if the guard comes over to try to help, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, I'm in the wrong picture. Boom. That's what it's gonna look like right now, bro. Guard come over to try to help. He gonna be sleep on the rim. He might as well. You might as well just say he sleep on the rim, cause that's what's gonna happen to him. He's getting banged on. Like he's gonna lay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lay him out into the rim that's a funny picture right i just made that last night right? i was joking around but the whole point is guard come over we ain't got to be scared no more he's getting banged on so you this this right here combined with this 86 here and an 85 here this should give you a wing by your foot so they won't even know that you can really shoot the ball so that should be good too i think 86 slashing gives you a wing by your foot if it don't i'm wrong it is what it is mid-range you're good um you know, you're not planning on shooting many of those anyway. You got a three-point shot, you're good. 85 is good. We saw that that was safe last year, so we good on that. Now, free throw, you'll be fine with free throw. 75 free throw is enough. I wanted to be 80, but look, bro, we ain't got no more. We got no more stats to put anywhere. So that's why we did what we did with that. You Look, free throw 75, that's fine. Shoot, some people probably will put it down to 70. If you want 16 badges, go ahead, be my guest. And uh, you can do it like that. Shoot, I might do it like that. Hey, you talking about? Hey, matter of fact, my, I said, I said, let's see, let's see what happens. So that's the max badge. Matter of fact, we gonna do it like that. Shoot, I'll take one of these the way you might be able to get fired right here. Hell no, nah, you can't. So look, boom. Now you got 19 shooting badges, a 86, and then you got a 70, uh, you, you know, you got a 75 uh, free throw. Now, if you want, you can, like I said, you can back this off to an 81 and you put this to 75. Either way, it is what it is. I really don't see a big difference. What would y'all do? Would you go with 75 free throw or a 70 free throw? I think I'm gonna go with 75, but let's just do it just, just, just for the sake, for the sake of the men max. We're just gonna do it like this. Let's go 70, 70 free throw. And uh, so now you got 19 shooting badges. Anybody should be able to shoot with 19 shooting badges especially when you're not getting uh like you're not what you're gonna get antifreeze blinders catch and shoot uh clutch shooter like bro 19 look the motor merrier man you're not you can't get deep threes that sucks but it is what it is you, you know that's one more for green machine hot shot gives an additional boost toward takeover progress from making jump shots i'll probably have that i'm not even gonna lie hot zone hunter ice and veins we're gonna have on set shooter we're gonna be using sniper so uh, you know Stop and pop, I don't use those. Like, we're gonna be using a lot of these joints, man. So look, I'm gonna rock with 19 with a 70 free throw. We should be fine with that. Um, Right here, speed with ball. I've seen a lot of people get out there and, and have no speed with ball. They can't move, they get the ball and they just, and they, they're not moving. You're not beating anybody to the rim. Put your speed with ball up. I told y'all that last night in the video. Pass accuracy. The only reason I put pass accuracy up this high, I want the bailout badge. Um, you may not want the bailout badge. You may not even want four badges, but this is what I want. I want, uh, the reason that I got it up this high is because I want bailout and I want quick first step on goal. So 
when I get that quick first step, you know, it'll just be like, boom, I'm out. I'm going to buy you. It is what it is. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you run out on me, I pump fake, quick first step. I'm at the rim. I'm laying it up. I'm dunking. If the guard comes over, that's what's going to happen if the guard comes over. This is going to make you elite. The speed with ball and a quick first step on goal going to make you elite. The rest of it don't even need no, I don't even need to talk about this, man. Interior defense, 95. Can't move none of this. Like, you can move perimeter, but I don't think, I don't think you can move anything that's going to give you another badge, is what I was saying. So, perimeter 72, when you get to the 99, your perimeter is going to be a 76. We had guards last year that only had 76. You're going to be able to defend anybody on the perimeter. You can defend all five positions with this guy. You don't need steal. You're a big man. You shouldn't be spamming reach anyway. You should just be playing defense. Block 91. Um, offensive rebound. I mean, you could probably do that. And then, you know, offensive rebound. The reason I did it, did it like this is because when I get to 99, I'll have a 95 block. And then when I get to 99, I'll have a 90. I have a 90. Um, a 94. 93? A 93 uh, joint. I wanted to try to do it like this. And you could probably do it like this, and that way you'll be 95 offensive, 95 uh, defensive, and you can still have your 28 badges, and we might even go this route. But to me, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm just like offensive rebound is cool, but if it's over 90, I think you're fine, and you're gonna have max rebounding at 99, you'll be at 98 at 99. I think that'll be cool. I think it's gonna be more than enough for anybody. And then the physical speak for themselves. You're the fastest as you can be. You get, um, you know, acceleration is gonna be good. You got your strength, obviously, is great. Uh, you got your vertical, 61. That should be good enough to do anything. And then you got max stamina, man. I really feel like this is gonna be the best center build that you're gonna be able to do. Takeovers that you can get. You can get your shooting takeover. Uh, the takeovers that I would do, I would do pain intimidation because stuff blocks. Bro, you just gotta like, I, I don't even know if that's gonna work. An interior badge drop, I don't care about your badges. This is what I want right here. Delivers a severe penalty to every contested shot taken in the paint. Thank you. Yes, please. I don't care about spot up precision or limitless range. I, I'm a defensive player if y'all haven't figured this out by now. Glass cleaner dimes, I'm not planning on getting many offensive rebounds. Not worried about seeing the future. And uh, you know, this is what I want. I want box out wall. Allows you to block blo uh, block out stronger players or swim around them to secure rebounds. That's what I want. Shoot, I might not even do it in that order. I might go I might go with box out and then paint intimidation. But most of the time, people try to just paint uh, paint mash you. So I'll probably do it in this order. If I get both of them, then we'll be good. And once you get done, you have created a two-way stretch glass cleaner. Shades to Clint Capella. Ben Wallace, I don't even know why they got Ben Wallace out there and DeAndre Ayton. And uh, you know, like I said, man, you're gonna see all your badges that you can do. It's it's hard to show you the badges and stuff because when you come up here and um, you put him at 99, it's got badges up here that you, that you that you can't even get. Like I think it had, does it have? Oh, it actually does. Okay, so it fixed it. They put out a thing yesterday that actually fixed this. It, it, it was having all the badges up there. So it had all the badges that I couldn't, it had up that badges that I couldn't get and I didn't want to show you this. So look, boom, this is what I'm gonna do right here and quick first step. If quick first step is not really a good a good deal, we're gonna go a relay pass that provides a boost to shooters on a pass to assist. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna do it like that. If um, But ideally, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do quick first step. But, but I've heard some people say that quick first step ain't really that needed. Uh, with shooting, obviously we're going with catch and shoot. You know hot zone hunter is, is a must. I use the shot stick. We're going with sniper probably on goal. Uh, probably gonna go with corner on goal. How much we got left? We still got seven. Uh, probably set shooter. We got four left. Look, we got four left. Should we put one on dead eye and probably one on blinders or split the difference like that? You know, do something like that or we go green machine, put one on dead eye, something like that, man. Or, or we take down set shooter and do like that. You know what I'm saying? We just got to figure out what badges work work the best. But with 19 shooting badges, bro, you shouldn't even have no problem because these are the only badges that you should probably be using. Um, shoot, you could probably even take one, take two off a corner, put it on clutch. Actually, you probably could take corner off 
really people been taking corner off uh you know take corner off do this right here take corner off do that right there people like i said i've been seeing a lot of people just take corner off and just go with it like that so if you think you can green or if your green ain't even important put this hot shot on you put that thing up there put one on you know what i'm saying like you can do a whole lot of stuff with these badges um do it like that once we figure out what this boost is and stuff i really just think that catch and shoot corner specialist uh you don't get range extender so that sucks now shoot a lot of y'all don't even shoot with the sticks so you're not even gonna need sniper so you can do it like that you see what i'm saying y'all can do a lot of stuff man but i i myself or oh, shoot you do it like this and then do like that boom take clutch shooter down because a lot of y'all are not gonna shoot with the stick i shoot with the stick so i'm gonna try out sniper hopefully sniper is a good badge and it actually works it gives you because it, it gives boost to well aimed shots we don't have flexible release anymore so hey i might as well use sniper but like i said this will be this will be probably what i'm using put oh i'm, I'm you, you, you mess around put sniper on hall of fame put clutch shooter like that and then do dream machine like that something like that this set shooter might not even be that fire you know somebody we're gonna do it like that but uh catch and shoot we definitely gonna put that there and uh you know we're we gonna see how these badges go man like i said just stay tuned because i'm dropping the 2k heat every day of the week and uh we don't even have none of these and uh i don't even think i can i couldn't i, I mean i could have got posterizer but i probably would have put it on slithery because you know we going to the vipers man v town all uh, day south side south side. but anyway man that's all i got for y'all man hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think down in the comment section do you think it's a good bill do you think you can play around the fact that you're not gonna have shot close? I think that everybody's just gonna play around the fact that they don't have it because not many people do standing layups or post hooks or post fades or any of that stuff right there. I don't do any of that. So I'll play around it. And a lot of times if I go to the rim and somebody's down there and I can't take the shot, it's a reason I can't take the shot. I need to kick it out, reset, do all that other stuff. But let me know what you think down in the comment section, man. I'm out of town next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Guys, please.